Hell y'all. Welcome to part 29 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough series in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part 28, we consolidated our control over Africa by defeating the Kenyan Ugandan Free State. The Solnit of Mankind also launched some failed naval invasions on the islands of Crete and Malta, which are their own nations. And so besides that, for this particular part, I'm gonna experiment a little bit with the video format, kind of, and instead of being 15 minutes long, this video will be an hour long, and it will be broken up into, say, a few different chapters, so you can just jump around and watch what you want. And with that out of the way, let's go to our research slots here. We have one research slot available, and go to armor, not armor, Go to air, actually. Get tactical bomber one. And how are we doing with divisions? We have tons of garrison troops. We just always have tons of garrison units. It's ridiculous. We have nearly... Well, we have over 200,302. Yeah, 2,302 garrison troops. We're pushing in Africa. I mean, not in Africa. Pushing in America as well as Asia. And those are the main theaters for us at this point in terms of combat. We're gaining some ground in the states as we kind of intervened in the second American Civil War. We're getting pretty close to the syndicalist capital. I think America is pretty bloodied after many, many years of fighting each other. All these factions did anyway. So we're trying to take advantage of the weakness of the Pacific States of America, the federal government, and the combined syndicates of America. Meanwhile in Asia we're fighting the, who is this, the Mongolian Khanate, who is a member of the Brotherhood of Eurasia which is a faction led by the Empire of Japan. So we're hoping to eventually make our way more into Asia. Right now we have to defeat these troops in Afghanistan also. They're not part of a faction. They're just very resistant. And I will say that about them. Can we have some more divisions? Push into East Turkestan, please. That would be nice. I mean, I don't know. When I think about it, I think we're going to be done with North America before we are done with, say, maybe Asia. And also, let's get a naval invasion here set up for a naval invasion of Malta. Do that, put 20 divisions on that. And the issues we've been having with these attacks, these naval invasion orders on Malta and Crete is that just the divisions, the armies of these countries have just had time to build up constantly, which is a little bit of a problem for us. And we also had a little bit of another problem, and that is negative manpower. I'm not so sure how it happened. But we reached 2 billion manpower at some point, and now we have, I don't know, we have to deal with minus 1.19 billion. It is absurd. And some of our air wings even glitched out here. Like, let's go here. Yeah, 1 million planes, it looks like. It's not really 1 million planes, it's just some kind of glitch, and that's just annoying. How are we doing with military factories? Let's go there now. Get more factories, producing stuff, produce more planes, produce more everything. We gotta make tons more naval bombers, apparently. That's being done as we speak. Let's make some more guns. Do all that. There you are, we're pushing into the Pacific States of America. Just go toward Los Angeles and Sacramento. Take San Francisco, all that. So yeah, take those cities because the Pacific States of America front line looks to be collapsing somewhat. So is the combined syndicates of America. Like I said before, they're probably just tired after losing, after fighting so long in the second American Civil War. Meanwhile, in Asia, our main opponent there, the Brotherhood of Eurasia, is just... It's a brutal fight because they haven't really been fighting anyone at this time, so just frustrating for us there. And we're just running into a wall in Afghanistan. A little annoying, but we've got to micro these troops forward. They are afflicted with bad supply issues. Is it... What even is it? Oh, no. The manpower is being a problem there. I get, yeah, we need to advance as much as we can. Can we get toward the capital? Please, push on the capital. I'm not sure how much of a score we need in order to beat the beat Afghanistan. I don't know how many victory points we need to take there. And we're pushing into the USA. Good, keep that going on. We have cores on every state in the world, which kind of explains how we ended up with negative manpower. If we just stop being unable to advance, I may just have to pull out my secret weapon and take over the world that way. A research slot is available. Let's get something here. Let's go with maybe excavation four. 
That sounds good. That will take 108 days to complete. We're getting closer and closer to the Mongolian Khanate capital. Can we advance through here, maybe? Yeah, just push through the western part of Mongolia, I guess. We're pushing into Kabul. Well, no, we're defending our holdings near there. Just push here, though. If we just break through Afghanistan and get into India, that would be ideal. The Bataraya Commune controls the majority of the Indian subcontinent, so they are going to be the main country we go up against here. And they have tons and tons of divisions. Where is our aircraft at? They are glitching out again, aren't they? They kind of are. Yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. Now, instead of being over a million manpower, over a billion manpower in terms of, and what? Negative manpower down to a million something. So that's progress, progress there, I suppose. And we have some encircled PSA troops. Let's try to destroy these unit formations that are cut off from the rest of their comrades. We just got done, got done researching experimental rockets. Let's do something in the naval doctrine we have here. Our navy isn't that good. We're very reliant on naval bombers, though. I guess let's make tons of convoys for now. That works. We're eventually going to have to deal with a naval invasion of Japan, which I'm not looking forward to in the long term. Well, yeah, in the near future, which is going to happen at some point once we make major, more major breakthroughs in Russia, I mean in Asia. Okay, stop advancing. We've got to really space out these divisions better. They're going to get encircled. I noticed that. And some enemy troops are trying to push forward. In Afghanistan, these troops have no equipment at all. They have equipment, I think. They just don't have... I don't know what the issue is. Fighting strength, manpower. Yeah, I think the negative manpower is playing a part there. That is a problem. We just need our divisions to attack as much as possible. Actually, I got a better idea. To fix this manpower issue, what if we just tried to recruit tons and tons of divisions to get it to go down? Come on, go down. I'm not even going to recruit these divisions. I just needed to look like I am. There we go. How many more divisions do we need? And the manpower should readjust, I hope, for demands there. Maybe. Or not. Something's like, oh, the frames. Oh, no. Okay, so how much manpower would we need from that? That is... Why does air have so much... Whatever. I am confused. Great, so let's forget training, though. Let's get rid of these training. Yeah, get rid of those guys. And let's destroy these divisions in the Americas and what would be Mexico. These PSA troops that got encircled. They're going to be gone now. I really hope the fact we get negative manpower now will not affect our push. It probably already is. I mean, it is in Afghanistan, I think, at this point in time. Which is kind of infuriating, but what can you do? And our troops in Asia are trying to advance. They're facing a lot of enemy troops, and we don't have the numbers. Well, we do have the numbers, it's just I probably need to micromanage these units better. Take the 7th Army, move them out of their current position. Let's send them up here to Mongolia. We just got to use them more efficiently, I guess. Have them push up here. Or not. 7th Army. Yeah, they're in. Oh, no, they're in... Yeah, they're part of the 1st Army group, but let's have them push in East Turkestan. To at least gain some territory there for the Sultan of Mankind. That could open up a new path into Afghanistan for us, if everything there goes well. And I'll be so glad when this world conquest is over with. It's just been brutal. Not so much because of the fighting, it's more of the fact we have this whole negative manpower issue. That has become really frustrating. And can we advance here, please? Get to Los Angeles. Or Los Angeles is not going to be in reach, it looks like, unfortunately. Where's our planes? Well, the ones that aren't, like, corrupted. It's like, I, I don't get how that happened. Whatever, we have some planes here. What, oh, those are ships. Those aren't planes. Where is our Air Force that doesn't have tons and tons of planes? Okay. Great, they're just... Oh, no. Move these fighters, though. Move these out of here, out of the lowlands. Get them gone. Move all these planes as well. These are close air support wings. Send them to maybe... Send them to Afghanistan. We'll do that much. They don't glitch out and feel the urge to have millions and millions of planes in their groups for no reason. That would be ideal. Send these planes here and have them fly there and just disband this one crazy sized these fighter air wings. Why do they gotta glitch out? This is frustrating. And that is just amazing how crazy large they are. Like a million some planes. It's absurd keep pushing in Afghanistan though we are making progress I think since we dealt with the supply issues per se and the 8th Army is having to move into position 
How are we doing in Mongolia? We're still advancing, it looks like. I think we are anyway. I would like to get more troops there eventually. There's a naval invasion in the Isle of Man? Why are they attacking Man of all places? Whatever. Dalantan is doing that. And it looks like we're losing some ground now in the Americas. We're having supply issues. Because of course we are. Negative manpower does not. It's frustrating. We should get nukes relatively soon. We're building tons of nuclear reactors last I checked. We are. Yes. And nukes will be ready to go in around... I don't know how many days. 209... Oh my goodness, that will take forever. How's this naval invasion stuff looking? They need 159... About 25 more days for the naval invasion for Crete. And less than that for the naval invasion of Malta with like 22 divisions. We're sending 22 divisions to Malta and around what around let me thank you around let me thank you 22 to malta 50 to crete that's the plan because we're just trying to rely on brute strength to overwhelm the enemy troops in those areas and let's transfer some more units over to the far east well to the 23rd army in asia they'll fight in asia yeah east asia probably most likely in siberia and it'll help push back the brotherhood of eurasia who is really holding out against us because they're just fighting one main army at this time. I'm just frustrated with this negative manpower stuff there. Now we have 738 manpower or something like that. Great, I guess. And we're going to push into Baja, California. Take this for the Sultan of Mankind. And the, I believe the Pacific States of America took it from, they captured it from, who was it? They got it from Mexico. And it looks like we have a naval invasion in Colombia. That is an issue, but it's not too big of an issue. And how are we doing in Asia still? We're making some advances into Mongolia as time goes on. Are those troops in East Turkestan yet? Yes. Be more aggressive, please. Be aggressive. There we go. I'll also make all these orders as aggressive as possible. Execute plans aggressively. Thank you. Be aggressive. That's all you gotta do, guys. Be aggressive. We can afford to replace as many losses as we need to. Just no price is too high for the Sultanate of Mankind. So just advance, advance, and don't stop advancing. That's all you gotta do. Just push into India, push into Asia, and win. That's all that has to be done. What are these guys even doing here? They're doing, I don't know, they're doing something. And let's get these units here moved out. This is the 6th Army. Execute their plans aggressively. Thank you. Be aggressive. That's all you gotta do. And have the 18th Army be more aggressive. Okay, they already are. Never mind. And we're pushing in East Turkestan now. Can we take this province here? Or no, we can't. We just got done researching some tactical bomber tech. Now let's go go with tactical bomber 2. That's going to be done. And how's the naval invasion of Crete going? That is underway. We have so many divisions doing this. We better win. That's all I can say. If we can't win this time. I'm frustrated. Let's move these planes out of... Out of... Oh my goodness. The planes glitched out again, didn't they? Any squadrons we have are doomed to just do stupid stuff, aren't they? It seems like it. Can these planes not even fly? I don't know what's going on. The naval invasion just fell apart. Again. Three lose divisions? Oh my. 50 divisions for the naval invasion of Crete was not enough. I really need to fix that negative manpower stuff. It is driving me crazy. I can't do a world conquest if my units cannot reinforce themselves. This is the most strangest way... I don't know, this is so frustrating. Like, look at this, these troops have equipment. Do they not? They do, yes. Manpower, 2K. Like, everything, it's brutal. It's just annoying. How are we doing with these 50 divisions there? They are all struggling with manpower, I think. Whatever, we'll come back for Crete, I guess. Yeah, come back for Crete and... Crete and Malta. Just give this army over to the... Send a lot of troops from the... What is this? The... the What is it? The 19th Army. Send them to Malta. Get on this order, please. 22 divisions will try to navally invade at some point. Navally invade Malta. It probably won't work, but we'll try. See what happens. And these guys here gotta be more aggressive. We are definitely helping with the deficit, getting rid of that. Because our planes, I think, are just glitching out all over the place and making the, I think they're making the whole, what is it, the entire issue of the, what is it, the manpower thing go down, because they're just taking massive amounts of pilot crew 
and yeah, if our, I don't know what causes them to glitch out, it's some negative thing, maybe it has something to do with reinforcement, I'm not very certain, honestly, it is a little confusing how all that works, it's just frustrating to deal with it though, I will say, me lamenting the whole negative million some manpower thing or not, I am glad I did set my conscription law to disarmed nation because it keeps our recruitable population low and that means it will help us get back to having less, well, get us back to positive manpower eventually. And it doesn't help, we probably did the mass assault doctrine as well, so that played a part, I think, in terms of manpower issues. And we're advancing more in India and into Afghanistan. The Afghan troops here are losing some ground. I'm happy I made those troops act more aggressively. Let's go to Hotan here, which is the capital. Who's, the, who's capital? Oh, that's the, that is the capital of East Turkestan. So East Turkestan may fall relatively soon once we capture that territory. Just go for all this land here. And East Turkestan, I will say, as far as I know, is not part of any faction. So yeah, East Turkestan's capitulated. The, we don't get nothing out of this, I think. Oh, we can get cash guard, that's it. Let me pass turn, though. Pass, pass, pass. Never mind, we get nothing. Whatever, we'll just occupy it anyway. So let's have these units move into Kashgar here. Take Aksu, those place, that place. And just move into Tibet a little bit. And into Afghanistan, if possible. Can we advance in Afghanistan through our new holdings here? Maybe we can, maybe we can't. And it's just a lot of mountainous regions in the, I guess, Central Asian part of the world. We just gotta worry about. Have we taken Kabul yet? We're getting there. We haven't taken it yet. We are trying, though. And did we lose some ground in India? Possibly. How's this naval invasion going? Do they need an order? You guys need to get on the order. What are you guys doing? Get on the order, prepare to do the naval invasion, and try not to fail at it. And we're losing some ground, it looks like, in the Americas. That is not ideal, but okay. What is going on with the front line? That is very confusing. Let's just actually do this. We have the 11th Army. Their divisions have been destroyed. Cause of negative manpower, I imagine, no less. And let's merge them with the 8th Army. And just have them try to hold out here and see what they can do. What? Who else is over here? The This is the 5th Army. 5th Army has too many divisions on the border with the Pacific States of America, so that's not helping our issues at all. And I think we should have them advance in general here, just have a new offensive line drawn up. Same goes for the 8th Army, and we just gotta readjust all these offensive lines we have. There we go. And there's one more army in this theater belonging to the Sultanate of Mankind, I believe. So just have all these units push everywhere as much as possible, distribute the units better, because it looks like we're losing ground that we've taken, which is not ideal for anyone wanting to win a war. So let's try to advance forward. Let's also go to our battle plans, make sure everything's being executed aggressively. Those units really need manpower. They are struggling for that reason, and that reason alone, I would say. It's just a manpower issue. It's just so frustrating. I can't stop talking about it. I want to stop talking about it. But it just is causing us, causing us so much strife. And we're at least advancing more in Afghanistan. We're taking the, what is it, the western part of the country. Is Kabul going to fall? It is, yes. And we've got to take probably Peshawar next after we have our victories here. If we can just hold our ground. Can we just encircle these enemy troops? Hopefully, can we get that done? Get some more... Guns made, I reckon. It doesn't seem to be an issue with guns. I think the ultimate issue for us is just the whole manpower problem. And we are now fighting some enemy divisions in Tibet. It looks like I think they're part of the part of the Brotherhood of Eurasia, so that would explain that. That is a problem for us, yeah. So let's make a front line here with those two divisions. Also make a front line here with the 18th Army in Tibet. So we can just keep an eye on that little corridor down there. And we're still advancing into Mongolia, which is somehow still alive. Yeah, they just have tons of troops there. We really need to break through India and just win there. What is wrong with these units? Can you not be assigned to the order? What is the issue? What is the problem? Okay, they moved to the area. Right. They're moving. 
And will they not launch it, or does the naval invasion just fail instantly? What is going on? The Russian state has decrypted our ciphers, whatever. The Russian state isn't really a country anymore. And how are we doing with the nuclear stuff? The nuclear, oh no. That is going all right. And is the, just, the order just fail? Or are they just attacking piecemeal or something? I need to see what the deal is with that. So they're just throwing themselves at the enemy lines. Oh, okay. So now we're at 220 manpower. We're getting how much a month? Mobilizing per day. Oh, no. Available. Are we getting negative manpower per day? I mean, per month? It's looking like we are. Monthly growth. Recruitable 260 million. I mean, we need to keep losing manpower. It needs to go down. Total manpower. We're at negative total manpower. My goodness, this is just a, such a strange, strange playthrough. That's all I can say. Advance more in Afghanistan. Hopefully that naval invasion of Malta just basically bounced right off the island. They are just... This is all so weird. And we are making our way more into Afghanistan. we got to now take stuff in the western part of the country. Let's advance through here. Take some ground. And get a wider front with India. Hopefully. Are we holding out in our front lines in East Turkestan? It looks like we are for now. These units here have no manpower. We really need the manpower game. I'm going to go crazy. I will have to use the console here. Don't make me use it. I'm opening it up. I'm willing to do it if this doesn't get any better. I basically already won, but it's just the game. I'm too power. The song of mankind is too powerful. The game had to nerf it by making manpower negative. It's just such a. I don't know. It is just fascinating. And let's keep attacking here. We're. Well, still advancing into Asia. Our troops are running out of organization and manpower, so that's always fun. More factories have been made. Great. That is terrific. I need more. Oh my goodness, I need a new production queue, don't I? Let's make, I don't know. What does nobody build? Improved Amtraks. We need 150 factories on Amtraks. That sounds like a great idea. Well, 91. Close enough. Yeah, let's have 150, fac 150 factories on Amtraks. I'm sure those will come in handy, and I won't forget we're making those. We're, we're making those at all. And can I try to recruit some divisions to try and get this manpower stuff to go down even more? We're at 200 minus 203 million manpower. Does those divisions help at all? I don't think they do. We need to take more casualties, people. We need to have as many soldiers get killed in the least well thought out offensives possible. We are losing a lot of men in. In the Americas, that's what I like to see. We're losing ground. We have some encircled divisions. This is terrible, but th this is terrible for those soldiers, obviously. But for the Solomon of Mankind, it's a great thing because now we're eventually going to get back to positive manpower. We are down to 200 million. We had over a billion at one point, and hopefully, we'll be back at two. We'll be back at the positive stuff soon. And the National Indigenous Federation, who was fighting Canada, just got annexed, so they're out of the picture at this point. And we're losing ground all over the place, it looks like, in the Americas. I am probably just going to end up having this entire army here in the Americas get annihilated. It seems like that is what's going to happen. Let's actually do this, though. Take these troops here. Consolidate all these troops. We're going to withdraw all those units from the USA and just fall back to Mexico. This is such a... There we are. We have positive manpower again. It's such a happy moment. We lost... We have cores on every state in the world. So if we lose, obviously, significant amounts of territory, our manpower will go down, obviously. Move these units all back to Mexico, just a border between Mexico and Texas. Hold out there for now. At least our units now have manpower, and that's good. So let's start recruiting some divisions, though. Infantry divisions, pump them out. We need probably about 10 of them. We've lost several divisions, and that's helped us out with our manpower issues at the very least. So fortunately, our troops should start getting manpower soon enough and we are winning in that regard even though we just lost an entire army i think in the usa at the very least they're not going to try and jump us these three factions in north america well i mean in the usa they are having to fight each other so we will have some time to rebuild our forces in mexico then push back up toward say through texas and whatnot and at least our woes of negative manpower is no more.
we can just focus on taking over the world now and making strategic decisions that would, I don't know, some of these mistakes I make are ridiculous. Like we were having troops getting circled in East Turkestan already. That is brutal. And we're losing ground there. We're losing ground in Siberia. Oh boy. Can we get more guns, please? More guns. Also, we have this whole issue of maximum support of divisions. Minus 25 organization is pretty rough. But it is what it is. And how are we doing? Why am I building factories? I don't need military factories. We just conquer everything. Build more nuclear reactors. We need all of Europe to be one giant nuclear reactor for the Sultanate of Mankind so we can have our huge arsenal of nuclear bombs unleashed on every enemy that is in our way. And let's also, since we have positive manpower once again, let's build up our bases, build up our air force in the USA, go back to holding this line. I can't believe that whole army got beat down so hard. That is just crazy. Build up this whole force here, get tons of planes, 500 planes. There we go, get tons of fighters, and just make as many aircraft as possible to try and just build up all this stuff here. Naval bombers. I gotta probably get rid of those glitched out squadrons, don't I? I think I do need to do that. So attack there, air superiority in Texas. And let me go to all these air squadrons that are glitched out. We gotta get rid of them. Those, we cannot obviously do anything with those planes that are having tons and tons of, say, crazy amounts of planes in them. We can't do nothing with them. Our factories are trying to make enough planes to go along with those air wings. And obviously, when you have negative aircraft in an air wing, it's a little hard to make several million planes for those squadrons. So we're just trying to get rid of all those. And it looks like there is some enemy... Oh, great. They're trying to launch a naval invasion of Madagascar. That is a concern, isn't it? So let's get these troops here. Delete this air wing. That is done. And right now, let's take some garrison units. Start making more garrison troops once again. And it'll start be cranked out once again. And help with our manpower issues. Not manpower, but just defend areas we need to be protected. Just make tons of them. Tons and tons in the queue there. And have them set to go defend everything we have in Africa. That would be ideal. So defend Madagascar. Defend everything there. Defend Africa in general. And just try not to lose any ground, please. You just gotta hold and dig in. That's all you need to do. Hold and dig in. And prevent the Entente from launching any counterattacks that would be bad for us, the Solnit of Mankind. And there we are. And they're being sent off to go do things now. Come on, there's so many places they gotta protect. Just guard ports. Let's not wor worry about the inland parts of Africa. I don't think any enemy divisions are going to pop up there anytime soon. So just defend East Africa, West Africa, more of East Africa. There we go. Somalia, a Arabia. That works. Yeah, that'd be good. They still have so many places they need to protect. I mean, so many more divisions could just be sent off to go defend something. There we go, though. Also send more into Mexico protect these areas so we don't get flanked in Mexico by some kind of random American naval invasion, because obviously that would be bad, and destroy our army that is trying to rebuild their strength in Mexico. So get that done, please. And we're going to have to take Baja California again, same with Texas, and a lot of places there. So those units are going to be spread around now. They'll be set out to go move, and at least we're pushing effectively now at this point we don't have to worry about negative manpower anymore a lot of divisions had to be sacrificed for us to get this once again but that's what you got to do sometimes and we're gonna have some divisions we deployed shortly let's set up this huge queue to just have more divisions be made at a faster pace where are those units even being they're being put in southern algeria okay so take these troops here that's going to be 12 divisions give them over to the forces in I say, where in the Americas? Can we just put them closer in the Americas, please? Can they just get there? No. Oh well, I guess they'll be in Europe. I, I don't know why, they just gotta be somewhere. Let's put them actually, never mind, I'll stay in Europe. We lost some convoys, it looks like. There is some Canadian troops in Madagascar still. They're gonna probably take that entire island, island at the rate we're going. Get a whole new army set up, send them down to go just fight those troops in Madagascar, 
because we don't want them to have a launching pad for any kind of naval invasion into Africa. And they'll open up a new front there that we thought the book was closed on. And we're pushing more in Afghanistan. We are gaining a lot more momentum now that we have negative manpower problems not being a thing. The enemy true How are we losing so much? What is wrong there? The infrastructure needs to be improved, maybe. I don't know. Improve the infrastructure, though. Yes, improve this. Improve everything in Afghanistan. Because we have too many divisions here, simply. And that doesn't help at all. So keep improving everything. There we go. That's going to be done. And that's going to help out, hopefully. I hope. So let's maybe push more. Never mind. This is just so annoying with infrastructure and attrition constantly. At least we can now just build up huge forces of soldiers in the Americas and start advancing more there. But we still have to get rid of some air wings. There's so many of them that like glitched out. Say 6,000 planes here. Obviously, there's way too many of them glitched out. Just dismiss them. Expand air wing here. And Hess, they're just gone. How many more I gotta fix? My goodness, this is frustrating. Just so frustrating indeed. And who's this here? This group. Get rid of them. Them. They're in Kiev. Yeah, just dismiss them. Get them out of the way. Send these planes over to, to the USA, though. They'll fight the enemy aircraft of the American Civil War. The Second American Civil War fight the factions there. And they'll have to make their way across the sea. How many more planes we got to get rid of? How many more? I just noticed we have a railway artillery division. How do we have railway guns? How do we get railway? I don't get it. I didn't even make these. I'm confused. Whatever. We have railway guns for some reason. Never going to use them, but they exist. And we have the 21st Army here that hasn't been doing anything at all. Let's just give them to the give all those divisions to the 8th Army. He was fighting in well, fighting in the Americas. And we're back at the 363 manpower. We're keeping things on what? We're keeping things at disarmed nation, though, for our conscription law, because we don't want to have the same issue that happened before, happened twice. So let's actually start advancing with these troops here in the Americas and try to gain some ground. At least we're going to only have one army to manage now with front lines here in the USA. So they're going to advance. There we go. That is starting. And this means we'll have an offensive launched there and hopefully they'll be able to resupply their troops at some point in time so that's good keep advancing here in Afghanistan take care of those enemy divisions near Peshawar that'd be good more divisions are available they're in somewhere where's that one army I sent to Madagascar they're there yet they're not there yet oh well there's no port oh no oh well at least we defended Africa mainland Africa why is there so many divisions here are they part of an army? No, they're not. Maybe give them over to the 8th Army. Just help out with the USA advance. Or try to, if they can just have enough manpower to do anything. Can we get some more planes deployed here? Maybe we can. And these planes are standing by, so they're not doing anything. Do something, please. Fly there, fly anywhere. Just do something. They're like glitched out or something. I think some air wings are just busted. We're gonna make new ones. Oh well, how many more naval bombers and squadrons we gotta fix here? Upper Brittany, great. Just disband all these groups. This is ridiculous. Some of these are just not being used at all. It's absurd. Did not get the negative manpower again. This is just a huge scourge on my organization here, my whole military. How many more planes we gotta fix now? Caribbean Sea, of course. Of course. Fix all these up. Just delete them. The ones that aren't doing anything anyway. The ones that are not glitched out. Okay, we just gotta delete all of them. This is just so frustrating. Very, very frustrating. There we go. How many more planes we gotta get rid of? How many more? Kerman. Great. So these gotta be... Some of these gotta be taken care of as well. Terrific. Get rid of this huge group here. And they're gone. Because they're glitched out. And so is this group here. Oh, well. And now we have air superiority once again in Afghanistan. Who is left here that needs to be fixed? Okay. White Ruthenia. Get rid of this huge group. They're just like... Oh my god. 
and this is just so frustrating. I'm just spending like 10 minutes just deleting air wings and disbanding them because they just bugged out. And what is this? The the what is? Oh, that's a close air support group. They're gone. Let's move these planes here to Afghanistan. They'll help help out with the offense there. That's going to be done. How many more planes do we need at this point? I hope those divisions of this army get here soon. Manpower is taking a while to arrive. I will note, or something above the vision limit, whatever. And they're moving. Oh, those are just new divisions. Okay, so they are building out their organization and supplies, though. Get more research done because we're not doing anything. I just got too distracted deleting air wings. So let's get some more air air technology, though. And let's get basic armored car. This is some more divisions. They'll be sent off to where. I don't know, send them to send them to Asia. They need some reinforcements there. Send these forces of the 5th Army there as well. 23rd Army, give them an actual commander. Be better than nothing. And they'll fight back against the advance of the Brotherhood of Eurasia. And how is Afghanistan faring? we got to keep pushing, though, it looks like. Advance here, please. There's so many divisions there. My goodness. Way too many. It's absurd. And are we done with the air wing of Afghanistan? We are not. We're nearly done, though. Let's have a naval bomber wing deployed to the Arabian Sea. And on naval, naval strike anything they run into. And how are we doing with the... What are these? Are these normal infantry divisions? Where are we deploying the the garrison troops at? They're being, they're being deployed in where? They're being deployed in... Let me see. Main... I don't know where that is. Deploy them in southern Algeria. I hope I didn't send troops from... I really hope I didn't send garrison troops to go fight in the east. Maybe I did. I don't know. Let me check here at the very bottom. Are these garrison troops? They are not good. Those garrison troops just aren't that strong as units. Afghanistan is such a problem for us to fight. So is about the Raya commune. Asia has just been a pain to fight in in general. So has the USA. And the, it looks like the 8th Army is still having to be reinforced constantly. Those troops have pretty bad manpower problems still. We do have like 681 manpower though. So those troops should not have manpower issues, I hope. So keep sending them units though. With the goal of trying to advance there. And we'll see what they can do. It's 1945 at this point. How are we doing with research and naval, I mean, nuclear tech? We have about 61 days, a couple more months until we can start using nuclear bombs. And I will say for the record, now, we are gonna be very liberal with the use of nuclear weapons because we need to start pushing back the enemy in every part of the world where we're, where the stalling of mankind is still being resisted. And we gotta get fixed one more air wing, it appears, some naval bombers, unfortunately. They have to be handled, where are they at? Naval bomber, there they are. They're in Lancashire in the western approaches while they're patrolling there and get rid of these two squadrons, disband them. That is done. And so now we have no more issues with our negative, oh, we still do. Well, no, they're fine. There's some planes in Tuscany that aren't doing anything, though. Move them out of Tuscany. They'll go up to England, maybe? Not England, go to the English Channel. Do that, yeah. And just move those planes about there. That's gonna be done. And let's start moving some more aircraft to Afghanistan. Let's do that. Fighters, we have plenty of fighters. We need some close air support, though. We have so many planes. Close air support we just built up. A lot of naval bombers that aren't going to be used at all at this point. Transport planes, bombers, tactical bombers. Way too many tactical bombers. Let's just get these things deployed so I can just get them out of reserve. That'd be good. Get them out here. To send them out to just do some kind of mission somewhere where they can be useful for the Sultanate. Deploy them here, have them do maybe strategic bombing. Tactical bombers don't really specialize in close air support or strategic bombing. They're a jack of all trades type aircraft. Let's have them do logistic strike actually. They'll handle that and take them off of strategic bombing. Get more planes deployed though in Kerman, and that will give us more of an edge in Afghanistan hopefully. And I'll do close air support. We need close air support here. We also need to do something with all these scout, scout planes. That's going to be some more planes for the... These are close air support. Deploy them here. There we go. 
send them out now. We have plenty of fuel also, so that's good. They'll be deployed in Afghanistan to close air support and try to help out with the troops there and send more fighters. I just have to manage so many air squadrons. I'm not even managing the army anymore. I'm just managing air squadrons. Move these planes up here, actually. Focus on Afghanistan, though. There we are. And they're going to do air superiority missions. That's going to be done. We're still trying to push into the eastern part of Afghanistan right now. It's not going too well. It looks like some ships have been sunk. Those are convoys. Very sad. It is what it is, though. He's still... How's Madagascar looking? It's completely taken over by Canada. Okay. We need some close air support in Texas, evidently. So let's do something here with the planes. Deploy a few more fighters. Send them out. And they'll go do something. Do air superiority. Where's the close air support at here? Close air support. Close air support. We have like 3,000 close air support aircraft at this point. Get 100 planes. Get it done. And there we go. Close air support's being deployed. Send them out in Texas. And their goal is just to seize control in the skies and drive back the units of the Pacific States of America, who has been our the biggest thorn in our side as we advance into the former United States. Get some planes here. So that's two close air support squadrons doing missions. Who needs tanks when you have flying tanks, so to speak, in terms of sheer destructive power? Do we have any more close air support? Yes, we do. Get them moved around. And I'm just having to juggle everything, having to recover from that whole negative manpower debacle. And these are Turkish close air support planes. Turkish Stukas, essentially, I think. So they're going to be deployed in Texas now. They'll make a difference, I hope. I really hope they do. And they're deployed at this point. And how many enemy planes are here? Way too many. So let's get more planes set up, I guess. Hopefully. Or is that the only real air base? Okay, it is the only real air base there. That's a problem for us. These planes are not doing anything. What are you doing? Oh, these are naval bombers. What am I doing with them? Use the naval strike then. And have we secured air control over Texas? It looks like we have. That will play a role in the battles here. Let's get a few more aircraft deployed. One more set of fighters. There we are. We're going to have actually one more squadron, a couple more squadrons, squadrons of close air support to win the day here. And that close air support will play a part if I can just get them deployed the right way. That's done. Just deploy these planes and send them out. There we go. And we have max capacity in that airbase. Good. More divisions are ready. These are garrison troops. They're going to go to the garrison army, which is over... It's not taking many casualties. Now it's now almost 2,500 divisions. It is the bulk of our military. The majority of our forces are nothing but garrison troops. Let's deploy some planes in Mongolia. 400 fighters. That should do for now. And actually, no. A couple more squadrons of fighters. Put out a few, what? Put out a few close air support. That should give us an edge, I hope. That's done now. Those close air support are going out at this point. They should be able to take on anything we encounter here. And we have over a billion manpower now. That is a problem for us. And we need to start taking some more casualties. So the time is right for a costly offensive at this point. So we have 100 interwar bombers here. They can do strategic bombing, I guess. That works, yeah. Keep deploying planes, though. Keep sending out units to do things. Just keep getting more air squadrons created so I can just stop us from getting to over 2 billion manpower and just causing, like, I think it's called a negative integer overflow. And that is a pain, as you have seen throughout this video, no doubt. And how much more close air support can we get here? get that to max capacity. It's 400 airplanes in here. Get some strategic bombers, actually. They'll do some... do a little bit of strategic bombing. Get that done. And those, just take out some stuff there. Let's get one squadron of close air support set up in Chita. Chita. And they gotta... I gotta find the stuff for them. Gotta find the planes! There's so many planes in our inventory. It's absurd. I can just shuffle through everything. And that should work for now. Get them deployed. That's done. They're out in the skies. And let's go to... Actually, never mind. We're still pushing Afghanistan. We cannot break through this one group of enemy soldiers here. It is ridiculous. We need to probably start sending some planes in northern India. That might be a good call. Let's get one squadron then. A couple of fighters. 
send them into northern India, get that done, and give them some close air support aircraft, which should be good for now, I hope. Close air support, where is it? Close air support. 100 planes, that's all we need, 100 planes. Get those planes there for the squadron. I always do 100 for each squadron because the smallest air base is 200 aircraft maximum, I think. So I believe it's a good idea to always have the planes, just the basic squadron size to aim for as a country in Hearts of Iron 4 to be 100 aircraft in total, which is, yeah, that's just how I do things. Let's check on the USA and see how we're doing there. We are making good progress. We're pushing out of Texas now. Let's move these planes to the west. Yeah, that should work. Move these naval bombers, though. We captured an air base, it looks like. And let's use that in Louisiana. Set up some more planes and just have them operate in the deep south. Get some more fighters there. Fighters. Fighters, there we go. And that air base has a lot of capacity for aircraft, so we can see what we can do there with planes. Get more of this close air support out there. Oh my goodness, we have almost 70,000 close air support. That is crazy. Get more close air support out there, though. Get them deployed. Come on, where are they? I gotta go all the way up here. We're making so many planes. I'm not really getting any. I'm not really getting rid of anything in surplus either, which is just annoying. But oh well, just get a hundred planes out here. All I gotta do, close air support, please. Thank you. About three squadrons of close air support here. Naturally, no. Let's go for four. We do that. Yeah, four close air support. And their aim is to ultimately secure control of the skies and express the hegemony hegemony of the sauna of mankind in the air and make sure we can just drive back to federal government in the southern United States. We just got to get enough planes to do that though. And nearly done here. 100 fighters, close air support. One more squadron should do it, I hope. And we'll just move around everything else when we need to, I guess. We'll do that. Keep the pulling planes though. And we're trying to keep the keep the negative manpower stuff down. That is going to be a problem. We can't let it get over to a billion. That will be terrible for us. So those planes are deployed, and they're going to start doing some damage in the deep south once they're deployed fully. They have the range to do whatever, really, in that region. How many planes are they up against? Several thousand. Okay. So they're, de they're deploying still. Let's get some more fighters, though. 100 fighters. 100 fighters. One more squadron. A couple more squadrons of fighters, actually. That would be good. And the instant those planes, the instance those planes are sent out, they're just upgraded instantly to the latest tier of fighters, I believe. So they're hoping, I'm hoping to eventually overwhelm the enemy with just sheer numbers and advanced tech in fighter plane technology. Deploy these planes, though. Do the mission. Come on. Close air support. Get it done. That's going to be done, yeah. Somebody's been shot down. Ace pilot promoted. Okay. We're having pilot trying to push into, we're trying to push into more of the USA. It's going somewhat well. How's Afghanistan looking? Still a slog, it appears. And let's use this airbase here in Bukhara and set up some planes here, maybe. 100 fighters and a little bit of close air support also. And it's really going to come down to getting enough planes in the air to just overwhelm any opposition we run across, ultimately. Honestly, because air power and hearts of iron 4 is just so critical to have. And how are we doing here? One more. Get the planes. There we are. We just researched nuclear bombs. How many reactors do we have active? We will make tons of progress per day at this point. So let's rely on that to hopefully eventually get more... get nuclear bombs made. And let's get tons of reactors constructed. We have tons already being built in Europe. We just made it into one giant reactor. And... 5.4 progress per day is going to be really absurd. It's only going to go up once we have more nuclear reactors, more divisions already. These are garrison troops. And I guess we'll send a lot of these guys to the USA. Ace pilot promoted. All these garrison troops are going to go over to the USA, get tons of troops put out there. And their plan is to just defend every place we take in that area. And we're making good moves in the deep south, it seems. We've overwhelmed the Federal Air Force in this region pretty significantly. I think they're just getting destroyed 
yeah, those planes make a huge difference. And somebody's been shot down or what, never mind. Let's get more planes out here, though. Tactical Bombers 3 has been researched. Okay. We have outdated tech in production. That is a little bit of a problem. Make more modern bombers. Get that done. And that's started now. How are we doing in Afghanistan? We're starting to push through these enemy divisions here. That's stealing constantly with our air support. How is Mongolia looking? Let's build up this air base, actually, because we need more planes here. Or can we just use this base or Kursk or whatever? We'll do that. Get some more fighters set up. Send them down into maybe northern Manchuria. That should work. Hopefully if they have enough distance for that. I mean, these are like fully upgraded aircraft at this point, like the highest tier you can get. So hopefully they'll be able to move out and just do whatever in that area. Get that done though, and they'll, they'll be going to wherever once you're ready to use them. And how are we doing with the nuclear stuff? 7.3 progress per day. That is going to be crazy once it's ready to go. Let's get construction four, 5. I mean construction 5. Concentrated industry 5. And flexible line. That should work. That's all going to be done now. And it looks like... Never mind. We're still pushing into America. It's pretty hard. We had a new air base captured. Let's start sending some planes through Oklahoma into the Midwest. And try to push there. Get a couple squadrons here. That should do just fine. And put these fighters in the sky in the Midwest. Also get a few groups of close air support and have them assert the dominance of the Sultanate there. One more squadron should do it. Where are we at here? Get it? Where's that? There we go. Close air support. Three. We have 70,000 of them. It's absurd. Just deploy them though. And they're going to go out and destroy everything they see. That's all they got to do. And just overwhelm the enemy with our massive amount of airplanes and industry as a whole. So all that's going to be done now. And we're going to hit 2 billion manpower again, I think. It's looking like that will occur. So we need to win faster here, I believe. And I hate saying that, but it looks like that's what it's going to have to come down to because this is annoying. Let's move these planes out of Afghanistan, though. Move them all over the... We'll keep a few planes in Afghanistan. They'll focus on air support in India. Most of the, those squadrons in Persia will do that. And hopefully with getting all those planes there, we'll be able to push harder into India. And once we get into India and more of China, the manpower situation for us is going to just go crazy once again, because India and China, if you're aware, they have huge populations. And that is going to be a nightmare for us to manage. And I may actually be forced to use console commands there just to end my suffering. It is going to be absurd dealing with that. Just We gain ground with positive manpower, then when we hit negative manpower, we'll have to fall back. Or maybe we should just make gigantic naval, gigantic air squadrons and just do something like that as something to do. So maybe just keep manpower constantly disappearing in the stuff. Let's get tons and tons of infantry made, tons of garrison troops. Just make all of them shift click. Get tons and tons of garrison units. I don't, I don't need this manpower. I need it to be gone. Thank you. The game is going to break down. Oh my goodness gracious, the frames, the frames, it's absurd. Okay, that's going to be wild once those divisions are ready. Oh no, the frames, the frames, the poor frames. Yeah, that is rough. Move more divisions up here though. Oh my goodness, this is a nightmare. Just a total nightmare. Can I pause? We have nukes ready at all. Any nuclear bombs ready, please? We have... Oh, no. Any nukes ready at all? None. Okay, so... We are going to have to deal with negative manpower again. Not looking forward to that at all. Push through here. Can we just encircle these enemy divisions in this area? It is absurd. Just take care of that region as a whole. And we're breaking more into India. It looks like they're, be over, they're being overwhelmed with our sheer air power. And so is a lot of places in the United States. Let's move these planes we have out of the deep south they're not really being effective anymore move them to say i guess i don't know keep them where they are in louisiana for now move more in appalachia it's just absurd how much manpower we're going to have i'm going to go crazy once we start getting negative stuff again this is just wild it is crazy 
It is just nuts. Why don't I deploy naval bombers in the Mississippi? Whatever. Fighters. Close air support should do it. Close air support. Close air support. Close air support. Where are we? Close air support. Good. Took forever to find them. Took forever to find them indeed. Deploy those planes though. Negative. No, they're do close air support missions there. And just attack everything. Do that. Beyond missions in Appalachia. Close air support's being deployed. Naval bombers need to be sent out of Appalachia. Send them down into the Florida coast and just do close, I mean, naval strikes down there in that area. And that's done. We're pushing more into the Pacific States of America's territory. They're not liking it, pretty sure. So let's actually build up that air base, though. And just expand the size of it. Let's just build air bases everywhere. It doesn't matter at this point. We just need to maintain our control of the skies in order to effectively push into every place that is still fine against us. How are we doing in Asia? Let's go over to India, especially they're holding down for now. We have some surrounded divisions. They're gonna break here, hopefully. There's tons and tons of what? Tons and tons of Afghan divisions still alive, which is a problem. We're gonna have to use nukes once they're ready to go. Do we have any nuclear bombs ready at all? Do we? We don't have any nukes. Oh no, we need close air support, don't we? Yeah, we don't have close air. We have close air support, we just don't have nu the superiority we need to advance there. How many planes do they have? Several thousand. Okay, so let's build up this air base even more. We'll get some more fighters actually deployed. Deploy fighters. We've got to secure naval, I mean, air superiority in the, in India. Well, northern India, yeah. Just deploy planes there those fighters sent out and try to take control of the skies. Any more planes here we need to get? Possibly. Yes. No. Eventually. They'll be out soon. They'll go into northern India and just fight any enemies there. How are you doing with air superiority? It ain't there just yet, I think. Let's, stop. Let's get some nuclear bombs dropped in the United States, possibly. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I also move these planes out of the deep south. There's no more enemy to fight there. Move them up to this base in area here. Just focus on this area as a whole. Those planes are going to move there. Get some more squadrons moved around. These planes were in the deep south, but they've been relocated. Just focus on trying to push in the southwest. And if we can get naval, I mean air superiority anywhere, I mean at all, I'm, I mean at all, I'm going to use nuclear bombs as much as possible. How are we doing with air superiority here? We are not winning still. It is brutal. It's just brutal. There's so many planes. We need more fighters. Get more fighters then. And drop. Get all the fighters we can. And hopefully this should give us the edge we need in order to advance more into India. I hope it does. Because if it doesn't, we have problems. We're just going to have to use nuclear bombs to make up for our terrible amount of terrible amounts of... Alright, can it be deployed yet? Okay, they're deployed. There we go. Do naval something. Close air support. Close air support. It's done. And can we get naval superiority yet? Air superiority? Is it done? We have so many fighters here. Can we just get it? Come on. Air power. It's going up. We need the air power. Air superiority is just rising. Good. Their planes are just being shot down so much because we have so many more fighters here than they do. And these are all fighter threes, so they should have victory automatically, essentially. You'd think they would, anyway. But let's see if we can drop nuclear bombs. We cannot yet. Great. And we do not have a strategic bomber in the range. That is just frustrating. And with all this going on in Asia and in the world in general... Oh, no, it's 2 billion manpower. That's not good. We're going to hit negative manpower at some point. I'm going to end part 29 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough. In the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can check out Kaiser Redux in the video description.